So what have you seen out of uh, out of their defensive backs? Uh, you know, they're very long and athletic. You know, a, a couple of NFL scouts were rolling through today, uh, and they're actually talking about how they, they're going to be evaluating this game because I think there's a lot of talent at the defense back position at Oregon. So, you know, we know there's a tough challenge ahead. Uh, Got to get back out in the groove of things and, and try to get a W here at home and, and start getting the second half of the season rolling. I think five or six of your receivers and then you add, add in two running backs have double-digit yards per catch numbers. Uh, <laughs> right. what, what, what is that? Uh, what reaction? Action does that number? Elicit? How many did you say? Were? Like, like, like five or six. Five or six. Yeah. I, you know, I think that's a great stat. That means you know we're we're spreading the ball out. We're getting a lot of these kids opportunities. I think that's going to help in recruiting too, where kids can look at uh, what we're doing offensively and see that a lot of people are touching the ball. And I, you know, there's a lot of young kids touching the ball too. So that's always promising from a recruiting standpoint. But you know, again, I think uh, it's a testament to all these kids and all the work they're putting into it, and just how this offense is starting to get into a rhythm. The one that's not in there is Singleton. He's at seven point nine. Uh, so he's He's almost there, uh, but uh, is that a guy you want to get going? Oh, no question. I think Singleton's had a great week of practice. Um, just waiting for him to have a breakout game. You've seen signs of him throughout uh, the season so far, but you know I, I'm just waiting for him to get out there and take a game over. And you know he's got six more opportunities to do it. With Chad, kind of a question mark. Does that mean he'll have a little? That I mean Singleton will have a little bit more more run. Yeah, I definitely think that. Um, you know, don't know about the status of Chad. I think uh, he's going to still give it a try. But you know, we're we're contingency planners here, so you know, we've already addressed it with Brandon Singleton that he's got to up his play, and uh, he's had a great week of practice, and hopefully that translates Saturday. Now, uh, the run game. What have you seen at Oregon's defensive line that maybe kind of gives you a clue as to? why they're allowing so many big chunk yardage plays. Yeah, I think a lot of it's skewed in a way. Um, you know, they came out in a different front versus Washington State. Um, Washington State ended up hitting them with some runs later in the game uh, because Washington State's typically a team that throws it around a lot more. Um, so they were rushing three and rushing two and dropping eight and nine into coverage. So, uh, you know, Washington State hit them with some, some run plays at times. But, you know, I think, uh, you know, we've got to figure out early how they're going to play us. I think they play each team differently from when you look at Washington to Colorado to Washington State, they played them all differently, and even Virginia. So uh, I think early in the game, it's going to be uh, critical for us coaches to figure out how they're playing and just go from there. You said that the run game may have reached a turning point. Uh, mm -hmm. I think it's two weeks ago, a week and a half ago. Definitely. Uh, now, have you seen that continue? Yes, I have uh, seen it continue throughout practice. Uh, you know, it did take a turning point, um, especially when we weren't throwing the ball very good last week or two weeks ago. Um, and, and that just kind of proved to me that we can run the ball and be efficiently and, and, and scoring and moving it. So, you know, that's always a positive from a play calling standpoint that, you know, you can rely on the run. And I think the, the offensive line, the running backs have got a lot of confidence going into the game. So hopefully we can continue that success. Uh, with Watson and, and Muhammad, who else w would be in the mix uh, there? If uh, you know, um, you'd see Billy McCrary and Patrick Laird. Yeah, and uh, on that, uh, do you expect to see a lot of the same fronts that Oregon State threw you guys when they had a bit of more success? I know uh, Davis was out yeah. against the pass, but you saw a lot of five, six-man fronts in the box there. Yeah, definitely. I, I We're preparing for everything. Um, again, it's like we were saying, uh, like I was saying, we've got to figure out early how they're playing us. Um, you know, typically versus teams that have had success running the ball, they'll load the box up and uh, load it up with a lot of players. Uh, versus Washington State, they kind of spread it out and dropped into coverage. So we've got to figure that out early in the game. But we are preparing for it all because I think we're going to see a mixture of all of it.